Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a few cute pieces that I picked up when I was shopping online. I actually haven't been shopping so much lately, which might sound strange to some of you because the videos haven't really been that different to usual. Usually I have a browse almost daily just to see what is out there and I've still been doing that, but there has not been a lot that I have been loving. Zara has been really unimpressing me on the whole. I did pick up a few cute dresses that I saw and hopefully they look cute on me, but we will see. We will see. I've definitely been liking H&M more lately. This top is actually from H&M. It's just like a cute little frilly crop thing and I really like it. It's very like fun and girly and if the weather picks up again, I'm gonna really enjoy wearing it. So I'm gonna get started with Zara, which has not been impressing me very much but saw some cute dresses as i said earlier this one included this one just looks like a nightmare to put on to be honest even this top was a nightmare to put on like they need to just like make a zip side so that i don't need to bother with the tie back because honestly i wish someone had been here to help me into the top but this dress i'm gonna put a picture of it right here because holding up this is doing absolutely nothing but i really liked the fact that it wasn't like a white floral dress let's face it i have enough of those but this was like a little bit cute a little bit date nighty it's got like that real plunge neck and then cut outside so it's just like a really romantic kind of vibe i think anyway and i thought this could be really nice for like summer evenings we will see i'm actually yet to try any of this on except this top but i've got it in a size small and it was 49.99 it's 100 percent viscose and it's nice and like light a little bit sheer but not so sheer that you'd have to worry about what you have on underneath yeah i just thought it was a really cute cut and print we'll see we'll see okay this dress i'm not sure if it fits me okay at the back it feels very loose like there's an elasticated bit here and it's very unnecessary yeah i'm not sure if it's meant to hang this low but it still looks nice i love the slit in it it would come up even higher obviously if you had a little bit more of a longer body or longer legs which would be very very cute this actually now that i've got it on feels a lot more like holiday vibes than i originally anticipated i was like oh this is gonna be a lovely floral summer dress it's gonna be kind of like feminine and good for garden parties but actually it feels so much more like holiday vibes because of the way the top kind of sits and obviously wraps and ties at the back very like bikini style almost and it is very very like thin and lightweight so it does feel like real holiday vibes and as i literally said holiday vibes it started raining so that's great i still stand by this would be a great date night option and i have a couple of little bags that i feel like work quite nicely i pair this with my ysl sandals which i just love so much i've had these in my wardrobe i think for i think it's coming up to four years now i adore them the brown bag goes very nicely with the shoes however we have a new addition to the family in this gorgeous khaki shade or khaki if you're from the us i really think that the dress like makes this bag pop the tone of the bag works really nicely with the earthy tone of the sandals and then obviously we've got a little bit of green on the dress as well so it kind of wraps in kind of nicely but i'd love to know which you think maybe none at all maybe neither i don't feel like this one is going to be a real crowd pleaser but it is lovely it's very lovely yeah i'm excited to hear your feedback what do you think then we have what looks like a dress on me but if you are over five two five three i'm gonna say this is more of a top i can't remember what this was marketed as on the website but it's got like a little kind of smock floatiness a little v-neck thought this would be really cute with just like a really simple pair of sandals like i have a pair of tan sandals some cute sunnies wave in my hair even just like a really really loose wave not even like done waves like we're working with right now just something really simple especially as my hair gets longer this would just look very very cute and you can really make it look like that off duty like relaxed i didn't make an effort but i still look cute kind of vibe that was what i was going for with this we will see i got this in a size small and it was 27.99 which i think is really good it is like quite lightweight there's not a lot of material so you know there is that to take into account and it is 50 percent cotton and 50 percent linen so this is going to be a dream on hot days we're a little see-through on this dress but only slightly and i would say as long as you wear nude underwear with this you're fine so really not the end of the world i just noticed because i throw these dresses on like dress after dress after dress as i'm changing and i don't do a different bra for everyone but yeah i'm very happy with this dress however if you are over five two five three this is going to be a top on you and i'm so sorry but if you wanted this to be a dress on you this is not going to be appropriate h&m do something very similar and and other stories so there are definitely like a plethora a 
of similar dresses out there. This is just the one that I liked the most because it didn't have a round high neckline and it didn't have like crazy puffy sleeves. It's like the more relaxed version of a lot of dresses that I'm seeing at the moment. It looks really cute with this little bag. I really like that relaxed vibe with it. I think it's very cute. Could also look cute with a basket bag if you're looking for something that fits a little bit more in it. But let's face it, I think this dress would just look cute with absolutely anything. It is very versatile and very timeless as well. It's something that I would keep in my wardrobe for a really long time. And it's oversized as well, which allows it to have a little bit more longevity in my wardrobe. It allows for weight fluctuation very easily. Something that I always like to consider when I am purchasing things, especially summer things, because you don't get to wear them as often. So I'm like, is this going to be a long running item in my wardrobe am i gonna get the wear out of it yeah it's very cute what do we think oh i don't like the material of this i don't like it this is one of those like i'm gonna say like polyester -y materials it feels a bit too heavy for a summer dress however it's got a cute smocking around the boob which i love because if we fluctuate we don't need to worry and then it's obviously like a tiered smock style skirt i think it's meant to be a midi dress it will be a maxi dress on me. I got it in a size small and it was $29.99. Has simple like straps, nothing crazy, nothing like bowy. If I can find the label, that would be wonderful. There's a lot of material to work with here. Ah, 100% cotton. Interesting, it feels so weird. This doesn't feel like cotton. It feels like too slippy to be cotton. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like, you know, shirt material. It's slippier. That is so weird. Moving on, I will try it on. I will show you. So this is our white dress. As you can see, it is very long on me. It fits very nicely. I'm really happy with the fit. It is a little bit see-through across the chest. I've left it bare just so you can kind of get a feel for what I'm talking about. It's nothing that a nude bandeau bra that's quite tight wouldn't sort out. I have the Skims one in like, it's from the mesh range, which mesh gives you a really bad like visual image of what it is, but it's just like a very, very stretchy, almost sheer nude bandeau bra, but it's got a very snug fit without being like restrictive. It does a very good job at like just covering this area without you ever being able to tell that there is something underneath the top like this, that like they're super, super thin. So that is what I normally wear under something like this. If it is a little bit sheer, I'm hoping the dresses that follow won't be the same, but we will see. But yeah, I really like this. Do I have a couple of dresses that are similar, but not the same? Yes. Do I think that I would get the wear out of this white one out of all of my other white summer dresses. I'm not so sure. I think we might be able to do a little bit better, but I do love the fit. It makes me feel really nice. I love the straps on it, and I feel like that counts for something. Like if I really love the fit of something, that generally lends to something being a long-standing item in my wardrobe. So yeah, something for me to consider. This is what it looks like a little bit closer up. I'm very happy with the strap length as well. I don't have the longest like chest area and it's still looking okay on me. So yeah, a very nice dress. I also saw it in blue. And for anyone that's new here, my like ideal colour palette in life is like white and blue. I don't wear a lot of colour. I like my neutrals. However, I count blue as a neutral. You know, we like denim over here. Denim is blue. I just, it fits into my colour palette very well. White shirt, blue jeans, you know, that kind of vibe. And in the summer, a blue dress, oh, just is so lovely. Works whether you're in the UK or you're on holiday, oh, so pretty. And I think it works well on various different skin tones as well. So yeah, just love it. And whatever color I change my hair to, blue just always works. So I got this in a small and it was 29 99 This one actually feels different to the white one. It feels like an actual cotton shirt and it is again 100% cotton. I have to say out of the two, just on feeling them, not on seeing them on, I really prefer the blue. I'm hoping the length is gonna be okay on me with these. It's just literally, that thought has just come into my mind. This could be a disaster. The blue I love, I don't have this style of dress in a blue in my wardrobe at all. Like I actually am now questioning if I have a blue dress in my wardrobe this is beautiful i love it as with the white dress i'm really happy with the fit it's just such a beautiful blue tone so i'm very keen on keeping this one what do we think and then we have the same dress in black i really went to town 
on this order, didn't I? The black is the same feel, that same kind of like slippy cotton as the white dress. I really like it. I'm a sucker for a black long dress in the summer. I just think they look so chic. Not as appropriate if you're in a very warm country because you are just going to roast. But in the UK, this is it. This is it. I also love a black dress as we go into autumn as well. In the UK, we do tend to have a last like burst of sunshine going into autumn, which always catches you off guard. And these are nice when you don't really want to be wearing summery colours anymore, but you do need that summer feel and a more lightweight feel and style to your clothing. So it's cute. Do I need another black dress? Maybe not. But if the fit is good, it may sway me. So the black dress I really like. It's one of those dresses that could take you from day to night on a warm summer's day really well. Say you're out and you've got a few bits to be doing during the day and you've got something on in the evening, just like a casual dinner where you don't need to look super dressy. But you could wear this, some cute flats, a nice little pouch bag. Let me find one. Here's one that I uh, popped here earlier. Just like a cute little pouch bag. It could take you from day to night so so well the fit of it is lovely it does have a little bit more of a snug fit than the other two i would say just probably because of the black dye things tend to run just a tiny bit tighter but i really love it it's so beautiful i'd love to know which are your favorites out of like the three white blue or black let me know i do love the black i think it's so classic actually they all are but i think the black lends itself to a couple of different occasions whereas the blue and white are slightly more like casual to me now this little zara cohort is what had me on the zara website in the first place i have seen a few of these style cohorts kind of doing the rounds i think h&m do one zara obviously do one a fair few brands are doing little cohorts like this where you have your blue pinstripe shirt which i love a blue pinstripe shirt they are just the best and then a little pair of shorts to go with and I just love that. I love it so much. So I can't wait to try these on. I picked these up in a size small. Top is a size small and it was $27.99. And then the bottoms are a small as well at $25.99. It feels really nice as well. I really like the um, texture. Like the stripes have a texture. So cute. And they are 89% cotton, 6% viscose and 5% polyester. So a little bit of a mix. Hoping the cotton will make them kind of still fairly breathable. Very cute though. Very, very cute. That with a little pair of trainers. That would just be so nice. But with a pair of sandals as well, if it's very, very hot, would also be very cute. I'm really sad to say, I don't like this one. And this cohort I had been hunting down for so long. I've seen it on so many different people and really loved it. And thought, yes, that is my style. I'm gonna feel so cute in that. And no. I don't feel cute in this. I don't feel cute. It does also look like I'm wearing pyjamas, which is, though something I love, I obviously love wearing pyjamas, but I'm not sure that that's the vibe that I want to be going for. I don't know if I like the pyjamas outside kind of vibe anymore. I think I'm past that. What do we think? Can you let me know if you like this? I'm just not sure. I just don't, I don't think it's, it's wowing me. I don't feel like I've reached for it and therefore, it needs to go back, this is not a keeper. So, those are the bits that I picked up from Zara and now we're gonna move on to the H&M bit. So, again, it's a little white and blue number which really got me adding things into my basket on H&M. This dress, I think it goes this way, this dress is so cute. I mean, it basically has little weeds on it but maybe we'll just look past that because from afar, they look like one of those cute little pom-pom flowers. Not a weed, but yeah, I love this style of dress on H&M. This video is just the video of me picking up the same dress in various colors and trying it on. I thought this was so cute. Look at it, it's so cute. I love blue and white. Makes me very happy. I got it in a size small. This doesn't have the price on it, but I will link everything in the info box as always. But yeah, God, this is just so cute. And I think it's a midi. Yeah, it's a midi style, but like it's gonna be a maxi dress on suits, but that's fine. Now, before anyone asks me, yes, I do have a pouch bag for every outfit, but what do we think? I'm actually not sure. I, I'm not sure. I think I might need to wait until the end of this video to make a full decision on whether this is the one for me. It's cute, but I'm not sure. What do we think? You'll have to let me know after the next few outfits. Yeah, not particularly see-through on the chest either which makes me very happy. And a great excuse to wear my little blue pouch bag, which I love so much. Yeah, I don't know if 
a printed version of this is just a little bit too cutesy for me. Oh, this is cute. I kind of feel like I've just ordered the H&M versions of all of the Zara pieces that I've ordered in this video. This is so weird. This wasn't meant to be a H&M versus Zara, but it kind of is. <laughs> At least I haven't done that video yet. This is cute though. Look at this. Oh my god. So cute. It is going to be very long. It's going to be very long. Look at that. We've got a lot of material to work with here people. It's got a lovely like smock front though. Really nice and stretchy. But it's open back. So maybe not for everyone. So this dress is cotton, but it's got a really interesting like texture to it. It's a little bit rough. I like it. We will see. We will see. Now this dress there's a little bit too like Bridgerton vibes for me. It's just not like it's cute. I like the dress, but it feels like I feel like Cinderella in this dress. It's just not me at all. I don't know if it's the hair. I very rarely wear my hair down. It's normally in like a sleek bun and I do feel like that really changes the vibe and allows me to not look so doll-like in a lot of dresses that have like a frill or a ruffle. So I don't know if the hair is swaying me today. Let me know what you think. Is it a bit too Bridgerton? I kind of feel like it is. Like I immediately was like, I feel like this is a dress that like Cinderella would have realistically worn whilst like scrubbing things or talking to the birds, you know? And then we have the white billowy dress i just love this style of dress and i think it's something that i will just have in my wardrobe for years on years on years like stuff like this just doesn't really go out white dresses never go out for summer but especially with the stretchy area around like that stretches a lot this is just one of those dresses that would work with me over years and years and years there's nothing like tight to it it's just so flowy really really gorgeous now i need to know what you think do we prefer plain white? Do we like it with a little pom-pom flower on it? Let me know. I think the simplicity of this is really nice. Like my eye isn't kind of like attractive all over the place. It doesn't feel too much, but is it too simple? That I don't know. So I would love your help in this one. You need to let me know what you prefer. Also, you can adjust the straps and bring this higher up if you prefer that. I don't really know. Do we think higher up? Some people wear it quite high or lower down. I don't know, but it's cute. And then we have it in this corally colour as well, which I just couldn't resist. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a pinky coral, but it's got enough coral in it to make it like wearable for me because I find some pinks just, well, a lot of pinks really wash me out. Like it needs to be a corally pink. And that's why you see me wearing orange a lot because most of the time I can't do a pink, but I can do an orange. So this is like that perfect mix. Oh, it's so cute. These dresses, by the way, are 75% viscose and 25% cotton. They feel very light and breathable. I will let you know, once I've tried them on, which one I would pick if I had to pick one. I mean, pray that my legs are long enough and they don't, like, touch the ground, because otherwise I won't be keeping any of them. You guys, how cute is this dress? I love this colour. I may have to keep this and one of the other dresses because i just love this color i think it suits my skin tone really well my hair just i think everything my whole complexion my face my hair my skin just looks really lovely with this color so even though it's like i don't normally do colors and especially not like trend colors there will be some years when it's like oh my god no pink is not is not the one i feel like i would still wear this because it just does really lovely things for my whole complexion what do you think which is your favorite out of the three this could be my favorite just because this color is bringing me a lot of joy it is so sweet and then we have this linen shirt it's linen right yeah linen blend shirt which i just thought was so cute it's like a gray blue very 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 cute I thought it would look really nice, like tucked into. I have a lot of white trousers, which you guys will know I love. My white Zara ones, they're very smart and quite dressy. And I thought this would work really nicely with them to casual them down. It is a lot more oversized than I thought. I picked this up in a size small. And I really thought by looking at it on the model that it wasn't going to be that oversized. But it is a lot more oversized than I originally thought. And I also i am not sure that this colour is going to do me favours, which is a bit sad. Because I actually thought this might be the shirt for the white trousers. But I'm actually thinking that my pinstripe blue one that I have in like a cotton material is actually, I thought that was oversized, but I think actually think this is more oversized and um, I think I already have better. I was just looking for the perfect one, you know? But we'll try that on, we'll try it on. So this is the blue linen shirt, the bluey gray 
and then show it annoyingly as you can see it is very long on me and very oversized which i was hoping it wouldn't be so that i could wear it like tucked into my trousers but you can't and the trousers are too tight you can't even like kind of make it work and position everything so that there isn't any like bagginess and bulging you just you can't do it so instead i styled it with the white trousers but with a gray little tank this is an old one from top shop that's quite cropped and it's just tucked in really lightly at the top of my trousers and then i've just thrown the shirt over the top so yeah this wasn't how i planned on wearing it but just to kind of like style it up for you guys even though i'm not in love at all i'm gonna roll with this next one i'm really questioning my order but i got this shirt it's like a real like palm printy out there type shirt this is the kind of thing that ryan will wear i think i've been spending too much time with him but i think the reason that i kind of picked it up was one that it would work nicely on its own with some of my trousers I have some like relaxed white linen trousers that it would look really cool with or even just with a pair of jeans but they also have matching shorts and yes I'm well aware that I've bought like a shirt shorts cohort from both Zara and H&M along with three dresses that are all the same style in different colors I'm nothing if not a creature of habit but we'll see what that cohort set looks like on I think that is more one for me that I would have to because of the bold print i would have to wear it with like a sleek bun my little like round ray bands and just keep everything like really simple basically so you know what i was originally really judging myself for putting this in my basket you know when you get something that you've just kind of like thrown in you're like what was i thinking i was really judging myself hard however i would say i prefer this to the blue and white pinstriped cohort now i'm not particularly leggy so i feel like on a day-to-day -day basis i wouldn't wear this in the summer throughout the day however this could be a real vibe for like holidays future holidays for the evening where you're covered up a little bit it's got like a nice relaxed feel so it's comfortable it's a little bit breathable but you're still like covered in case there's a chill and i think because i'm not particularly leggy it would look really good with a pair of heels but shorts on me i always struggle a little bit with so here's one I bought earlier and I really like these heels because they are very summer vibes so I feel like they work pretty well. I have a little pouch bag here. This one I bought in earlier. I actually haven't looked at this in the mirror so yeah I really this. This is cute. This is really cute. It's not my biggest disaster to date but yeah the print is still very busy for me yeah i can make it work but i am still questioning what on earth i was thinking and i will probably send it back but i thought i'd show it to you guys anyway because i like to keep it real i like to show you the things that i'm like what was i thinking about and um some of you might like this anyway or like the inspo so yeah i'm still sending it back this top keeps slipping down oh yeah i'll put a try on of the top in as well this actually comes with like a i think it's a matching skirt or matching shorts which is very cute but i actually have the white linen shorts from h&m so that would work really really nicely with this top i'm just wearing it today with my like relaxed linen trousers definitely really difficult to get on at the back though as you'll see in the try on clip which is why it's kind of like not held up enough along my chest i really needed someone else to help me get into this top today okay so this is the little h&m top can you see well, I had some trouble getting into this one. It really needs someone else like assisting me and helping me like pull this in as tight as possible because the shoulder straps go into the tie back. But other than that, it's a lovely top. I can't wait to wear it with my H&M linen shorts. I just think it would be so cute. At the moment, I'm wearing it with these trousers. These are from ASOS. I'm not sure if they still have them in stock, but I love them. They could do with a little belt just to cinch them in a little bit more. And I've got some old sliders on from zara which are like quilted sliders it's very nice relaxed little look but yeah i love i love this top it's so cute i literally just put it on my instagram stories and a lot of people have already dm'd me about it so we will see if it's still available by the time this video goes live but there's also a few different colorways of this as well which is really really lovely and this is actually the same print as the dress in this video earlier as well so yeah it's lovely i love it i'm very happy with it it's just really cute feminine but simple enough for me to still feel comfortable in it because i don't generally like frilly things but it's just simple enough that i feel comfortable in it and that's nice and it feels nice and timeless as well it's not a trend color that i feel is going to go out of style anytime soon and i just love a little top like this they're just so cute aren't they so that is it for me today guys i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know which were your faves in the comments below i hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye